guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is I am in the nursery and I'm gonna show you some of the things we got for our baby shower. Our baby shower, if you have not been following me, has been online, 33 weeks pregnant and six days today. And um, the last video I did was for the full 31 weeks. So the last video I did, I uploaded a little late. Yep, that's Scooby-Doo on your shirt. Scooby-Doo? Hey! No, I'm not going bye-bye. We just started filming. So basically, it's the same old story. I'm not sleeping. I'm super hungry. Um, my big craving is Chick-fil-A, like really hot Chick-fil-A french fries with a diet lemonade. I am in extreme like pelvic discomfort. I did read online and I think what I'm dealing with is pelvic girdle pain. So if you don't know what that is, apparently it's when the alignment of your pelvis is just not right and so it makes it hard to get out of the tub, roll over in bed, walk, things like that. Um, it is really no joke. So I'm going to the chiropractor for that today. Um, so other than that, I don't think anything really big has happened. But other than that, let's go ahead and show you guys some of the things that we got from our baby shower. Okay, I think this is better lighting for you guys. So let me go ahead and scooch over. But the first thing I do want to show you is this diaper caddy. And I love this. I had one of these with Richie, but it was dark gray. And so now I'm swapping it out for Aurora's. And basically I put like diaper paste, lotion, um, some teething gel in here. And um, I have diapers. I have these diapers in here. I think they're from the Honest Company, but they have little eggs and bacon on them. Diaper changing mats here washcloths these are from the baby shower um white right here and vaseline always could use that and these are trash bags for stinky diapers really helps the newborn poops are not fun and then my mother-in-law got her this little capri um it's kind of like a makeup bag but inside i have just nail clippers and a thermometer that we got from the baby shower okay, moving on to the next thing i'm going to go into like blankets towels things like that so we got hooded towels that are in the same print that's on her changing table and one of the blankets in the crib it's also a spare sheet set that's in the same pattern so um, these are all from Target. It's the floral pattern at Target. And um, if you haven't been following my videos, we have mixed the summer floral pattern with the lemon pattern that we found at Target. And I just feel like it was totally meant for us. I've always known I wanted to do the nursery in lemons. So I can't wait to show you guys that. Three more blankets. And there's another blanket that's the same pattern and it's already in the crib. So they have these, uh, we have these flannel, flannel blankets right here. Some muslin blankets. We have a lemon one in the crib. And then these are bumblebees and polka dots. We have a, a plush blanket. And this one says, I love you. And it's super, super soft. We have the muslin blanket just like it that says I love you all the way around. We got an extra crib sheet that has yellow diamonds on it, or not diamonds, but triangles. And we got a set of five cotton um, baby blankets, and <laughs> this one is my favorite. This is her hamper, and it's just got like some greenery and some leather straps, but it's huge. So we put her extra bedding and stuff in that for now. I received two nursing scarves, and they look like this. They are different types. So this nursing scarf actually you put around your neck and it has little pockets in it and burp cloths attached to the ends. And then this one is an actual scarf and it goes around your neck and you can just hang it on the back of anything or wear it in the fall or even in the summer a little bit on the cooler days because it is muslin material. So this will help um, kind of keep her cool while I'm covered to nurse her. Along with the nursing covers, we got a floral nursing boppy. 
The next thing is a set of bins that my mother-in-law got us and filled the bins with stuff, but I have to show you the bins because they're perfect. But this is the big one. And then there's a little one I'll show you. And I already showed you guys her car seat canopies and the covers and the pillows and stuff are in here, but I have not showed you what we got at our shower as a stroller caddy. So we got a stroller caddy where I can put my drink, my keys, and I am in dire need of this one. Trust me, I've needed a caddy for like two years. Now he's pulling out all her lemons and putting them in the diaper pail. <laughs> the little um, basket here or basket or bin and I just put extra diapers in that one um, just to kind of have at the top of the closet in case we need to replenish the diapers into the changing table over here and then one of my favorite things is the diaper bag that we got and it looks like this and my friend got this for us and I am so excited i'll show you guys more about this when i fill it but it has all these little cubbies and pockets and all these little organizers and i just couldn't ask for like a better gift um it has shoulder or not shoulder straps but stroller straps right here so when i do a what's in my diaper bag for a toddler a newborn mom diaper bag video i will show you the ins and outs of this a little bit closer the next two things I want to show you real quick, and Richie wants these, so they're these little pop-up books, and this one's a Little Mermaid and the other one's Snow White, and when you open it up, it pops up here and tells a story, which I love these. I think they're so cute. We got some bows, and I put them in this little basket um, with this little bow that we got as a gift, and this bow goes with um, our robe and swaddle. And this one, I'll show you the outfit here in a second, but we, I'll just show you some of the bows that go with these outfits. And the rest are kind of um, like scarf bows, meaning they're just like head wraps that you can tie and they go with one of the outfits in the closet. So we have a bunch of scarf bows in here. And then in this one, we have even more bows. They're in a basket, but we have these, which are so cute, yes. Aren't they all so cute? They match her room and the theme. And then we even have little denim one. Um, and then my friend sent us, I think I showed you guys these, but this little donut one, this one is so precious. That's probably like my favorite. So we are super grateful for those. As for like, um, like newborn care, infant care, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, things like that, like all the essentials. I'm gonna show you some, but we got a ton of those. <laughs> so we've got one of these Safety First kits, yeah. and it comes with brushes, combs, thermometers, nail clippers, everything like that, and a little um, carrying case, and it is purple. All this stuff gets lost in the shuffle. I think Richie, we've bought him so many combs, and we just can't keep up with them at all. We got like two or three Aveeno um, gift baskets, but we got a ton of um, Aveeno and Honest Baby products. I'll show you what Honest Company products we got. This is a bin with all of the products that we got. And that, well, that's not even all of them. We got a huge um, shampooing bottle. This one is like the big bottle you can see compared to the regular size. This is conditioner, which my children severely need. This one is in the, is this a rose scent? It's a sweet almond scent. Shea Baby wash and shampoo, and I've never tried this. I've tried the curling cream on Richie's hair, and I love it, so I can't wait to venture into that brand a little bit more. A calming set. Just some more calming comfort bath from Aveeno. And the products I'm really excited to try in here are actually products that I sell are from Dr. C. Tuna from the pharmacy brand. And that is the makeup, that is the makeup I'm wearing. It's the lip gloss I have on. It's the mascara, eyeliner, everything. I sell it because I love it so, so much. And I have not tried their baby line. So here's little bars of soap. We got two of those. Um, some shampoo, which I have not taken out of the wrap. And these are dye-free, paraben-free, silicone, and liquid paraffin-free. And then, um, I think we got double of all that stuff. Diaper rash ointment and diaper rash 
paste. Some A and D, which is one of my favorites. The baby oil from Pharmacy. There it is right there. You spray it on. This is actually a diaper cream applicator, which is really cool. I've never actually had one of those before. Okay, I'm going to do my best to show you guys some of the clothes, but they're, they're so tiny and I'm going to try to hold them up. First thing I got are these velvet hangers right here. So I will be switching all of her clothes that I got already to the velvet hangers. The first outfit is actually this onesie with these little yellow shorts and that is so cute. That's one of my favorites. Um, and then this is a little dinosaur outfit with um, leggings that have little scales on them like dinosaurs. It is so perfect. This actually reminds me of just something super classic because it's got little roosters on it and little bunnies. It's so precious. This I love. It has little cherries on it and it's just something for the summer to keep her cool. Her little diaper's gonna be poking out of here. That's so cute. Actually just like it and I love it so much and I think all these are from Target. Okay, you guys, so my toddler needed me <laughs> very much, so I'm going to finish some of the clothes like this because they're actually hanging up for me, so it's better. This is a little giraffe outfit, romper, with a little ruffle butt, bikini butt kind of thing. It's a little ladybug. So sweet. And then this one is like a denim top with coral leggings underneath like my favorite just for her because uh it just reminds me so much of italy of this video and if you saw at the beginning there was a message saying this video was in two parts that's because mom life so the um, first video got kind of interrupted and the house has been in shambles since then and I'll explain that at the end when I do the update but I do want to show you just a couple more things and as you can see you are now getting a sneak peek of an almost finished nursery <laughs> um, I will do a nursery tour separate but for now, I just want to go through um, my update, which is going to be more than it originally was because about a week or so has passed. So I just want to pick up where I left off. Things that I did not show you guys that we got um, was this Skip Hop Owl Baby Sound Sleeper. It has melodies and it has a night light and it projects moons, moons, <laughs> moon and stars, which I love because Richie has one that does airplanes and cars and trucks and he uses it every night and he's um, past two and so he loves to look at those things there you go and the last thing technically from the baby shower that I want to show you is something that was handmade for Aurora and it's this little hat and this blanket that is an angel look how sweet this was handmade by my cousin's mom um, and this is just one of the best gifts we could have gotten. So I'm so excited for that. And I just can't believe people make stuff like this by hand. <laughs> like, I don't know 
how they do it. I'm about to make each of the kids a baby blanket, but it's like a no sew, no crochet. It's like the tie, the end ties, because that's pretty much about all I know how to make. <laughs> so we are really grateful for this little combo. This is actually the last thing from the shower. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is a 360 cup with handles and Richie uses the 360 cups and I absolutely love them. Those and the Contigo water bottles are our favorite. Basically what I wanna do before I give you guys the rundown of where I am symptoms wise is tell you that um, a lot of things are different. Right now I am 35 weeks and I think four days pregnant. So obviously from the beginning of this video to the second part of this video, there's been a little bit of a time lapse. <laughs> I have gone on a little baby haul for Walmart clothes and Walmart is really stepping up their game. They have bows and stuff for a dollar. I just don't see the point in spending a ton of money on baby clothes unless it's something that like you super duper love. So I usually stick to Walmart. Target, um, Carter's and things like that if they have a sale. At the end of this video, I'm just going to show you all the cute things that I got, but let's go ahead for now and get right into the update. And then after that, I will do my bare belly shot. Okay. I moved you guys a little bit so I could sit, but I am 35 weeks and four days pregnant right now. Um, the baby is as big as spaghetti squash. So a couple things have changed. Um, I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions, a little bit of cramping, and some cervical changes. I can really feel it. Um, also, there was a spot of blood about last week, and um, that can be very normal. Um, I, you know, wasn't worried about it. I was just like, huh, I didn't see that with Richie when I was pregnant with him. So it could just be like my cervix um, just kind of gearing up and things like that. Also notice that I am losing little pieces of my mucus plug, I guess. Um, so basically between just a little bit of spotting and a little bit of mucus plug coming out quite frequently. And then what she's really concerned about is like um, here, just the oncoming of like a lot of contractions um, and uh, cramping. I'm not too worried and she's not either, but like we don't want to be negligent and I am only 35 weeks. I have to wait till 37 weeks to be full term. So obviously to have a home birth, you need your baby to be full term and just in general, you just want your baby to be like exactly where they should be before you go giving birth to them so that they don't have to go through anything extra to help them. I am trying to avoid going into labor early for the next two weeks. I could go to my due date. I could go past my due date. Like we really don't know. These are the changes that I have going on right now. They're pretty big uh, changes. So I've just kind of been dealing with a lot. Hormones are kind of all yeah. over the place. And then along with that is just, well, I got rid of my Facebook, by the way, and that it makes a world of difference because is Facebook right. is just super stressful sometimes. So without that, I, I still feel like I just get super touchy and anxious about certain things, but I know that um, it's my anxiety anyway, but with the hormones as well. So also certain foods that I eat that honestly just start giving me a bunch of contractions and I don't... I don't know. It, it's not like necessarily spicy or anything. Sometimes it's fruit. Sometimes it's, I don't know, but I'll just feel my belly tightening and um, loosening up, tightening and loosening up. There's no like distinct pattern, just doing too much, doing too much stuff around the house, which I, I've just been trying to do so much and the nesting is really setting in. So basically between all those things, anxiety, hormone, just physically doing too much, I am having those pelvic issues and I will update you on that. They are getting worse, I think, or no better. Let's just say no better. I don't wanna go into labor early. I cannot go into labor early. I cannot go into labor for another two weeks. And then after that, I'm kinda of hoping she does come early. I mean, I know she'll come when she's ready. And so that's the important thing. And I am totally okay with whatever she needs. The pelvic issues, um, I have seen a chiropractor for. My midwife told me pretty much, if you don't go see a chiropractor, you may not have much luck. So I've been to the chiropractor two times and I got a prenatal massage where they tried to work out, like through my hips, they tried to work out the alignment in my pelvis. The first time it actually helped for the evening and then the next day it was like it came back the vengeance the pain and when I'm talking about my pelvis I mean from front to back 
the whole thing. Walking, turning over in bed. I think I described to you guys what is so painful about it, but it's like a constant. And so, um, you know, people expect you not to pick up your toddler and not to play and not to do too much, but it's kind of like really hard not to do all that. So I've literally been living on the postpartum ice packs already. That is the most stressful and annoying part for me because I feel like I have the energy and stuff to do, 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 and go, 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 go. And I want to match Richie's energy. Um, like right now I feel a bunch of energy kicking in. However, it's hard to get around and it's hard to keep up with that when you feel like every move you make, you constantly are in pain when you're walking or putting pressure on one foot or the other. Um, or sitting like I can't find hardly any positions on the couch or the bed that are comfortable for me if you're dealing with that I am so sorry because I know now what that feels like I did not have that with Richie but the second time I went to the chiropractor um, I mean again temporarily like for hours or maybe even a day it helps but it's really not helping me so basically if it's something to wear give birth and it doesn't um, go away like if it's just her placement that would be great but if I give birth to her and these issues don't go away I'll need to do some physical therapy which I'm totally up for. basically that's where we're at where we are at with that um, a couple other symptoms I've gotten some headaches I still get the little black spots in my eyes sometimes only get swelling in my ankles and feet when I'm doing too much which my midwife threatened to put me on bed rest if I do too much so uh, it's not been that bad I've, I've had Belladine helped me and my dad helped me and even Richie helps me. Yeah, um, nausea has come back a little bit. I have been trying to drink a lot more water and I will show you the water bottle that I got. Uh, it was for my labor because uh, I wanted to have a huge water bottle but I have already started practicing. Yes, practicing because there's no way I drink that much water. I got it from Amazon so if you guys want me to, I will link it down below and let me show it to you real quick in like a little. All right, so this is the water bottle and it is um, a motivational water bottle, something that we can keep track of with timestamps on it. Timestamps, like, I don't know, you see, there's little times on it, like 7 a.m., 9 a.m., like, it motivates you to try to keep drinking all the way to the bottom, and it has lavender on it. I am obsessed with lavender, and it's from the brand uh, Key Fit or Quee Fit, and it has this little button right here and um, a big straw in here and a place for a strap right here so you can put it on your shoulder or the stroller so that is the one i got and i will link it down below but it is on amazon it is still very in and out some nights i am awake forever there was one night i woke up at 11 45 and i didn't go back to sleep till four um I didn't get up and do anything. I almost took a bath, but I just kind of tossed and turned because I was just trying to go back to sleep the entire time. Kind of touch and go, uh, and it depends on my pelvis too, because some nights I will put an ice pack on and try to go to sleep, but when the ice pack wears off, I literally wake up, and when I try to roll over, it's just so painful. She thinks that maybe along with like the alignment issues, there's some like swollen veins or something, which a lot of pregnant women get down there. I think um, with the pressure, I have no idea. <laughs> the next time she comes back, I will be full term. I will be 37 weeks, and she will check me out then. I also have noticed that like my cravings are like on extreme ends of the spectrum like I'll be craving nachos one minute I've even been craving spicy food but I've been trying to kind of not eat that because I don't want to go in the labor <laughs> and I was craving pineapple and ate a ton of that and I totally forgot that pineapple softens your cervix so I'm probably just like putting myself in a labor but like there's certain foods that I'm craving that I am not allowing myself to have right now and then there's certain foods that I'm craving like I don't know that are really sweet like junky food um chocolate chip no not chocolate chip it's cookies and cream ice cream that's the one i love um ice cream yeah i am like kind of over the chick-fil-a fries and lemonade right now i'm kind of with like nachos again um along with just the cravings kind of being a little out of control my appetite has 
increased even more. So the yeah. other day, between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., I ate three full Mama. lunches. Yes, Mama. three. Some days I am fatigued, like, beyond belief. And then a lot of days I'm just having this, like I mentioned before, just this nesting, just call it like a surge of energy. <laughs> um, I'm getting pretty much everything ready for the home birth. I have my birthing tub. I'll show you guys that in a video. And I have, like, a list of things that I've already started putting together. And when they are done, I will show you that in a video as well. I have been getting pretty overwhelmed um, kind of easily, so that's why I really have to take it easy. Okay, the acid reflux and indigestion um, have gotten out of control. It's like all throughout the day, it's at night, I cannot sleep. So basically, the indigestion and acid reflux have me out for the count. If I didn't have my medicine, I don't know what I would do. So the medicine works like a charm, like I've mentioned before. So for baby, I can feel her like still kicking and stuff, but I can feel her just getting bigger. So she's doing these rolls. Um, I can feel her all over the place and she usually goes to the right side but she is head down and um, I was able to confirm with my chiropractor the position so that we can try to work out these whole alignment issues so she is in position she's just not obviously low enough yet but um, I keep waiting for her to drop and there's all kinds of signs that that might be happening soon but it has not happened yet and um, I'll show you my belly obviously in this video um, I still take Epsom salt baths every single day um, that is a must for me it makes my body and my um, like pelvic issues feel so much better and it helps me to reset or at least get a better sleep I am getting like super weird hot flashes um, I cannot sleep without the fan when we go outside I just make sure that I am super hydrated and I don't overdo it right now um, or I just put my feet in the water because we have a little family pool okay so at this point um, due to the pressure of everything else the this is a TMI symptom. Constipation has kind of gone away. It's kind of I think normal. I'm kind of normal with that right now. But um, a lot of women right now their hemorrhoids keep getting worse, and that is definitely the situation. Um, I do have witch hazel pads and cooling pads, and that seems to help. But all you can really do is just wait to get that baby out. Pregnancy brain and dizziness is definitely a thing. Yesterday, I called every person three different names before I could get the right name. It was just like my brain just doesn't work like on a whim. <laughs> I just, when I stand up too fast, I get a dizzy spell. Or when I lay down, um, it just seems like she's pressing on like everything and my diaphragm gets really tight. So when I get up from that, I get like the black spots and a dizzy spell. Um, again, I just am trying to stay hydrated. That's really all I can do. So in Richie naps, I definitely lay down. Even if I can't nap, I lay with him because um, I just need to rest. I think now is the time I need to give up a little bit of control and just take care of my body and my baby and we need to work together just to get her out safely and then I have forever to catch up on housework and stuff like that but the upstairs is okay just now the downstairs is in shambles I'm not able to bend over to paint my nails to shave um hard to put on pants and underwear um, it's getting to the point where it is painful if I see something on the floor it like honestly just makes me super anxious that I might have to just bend down and pick it up <laughs> so I feel like I am definitely at that point where I am feeling like tight and heavy and crampy in there like she's just getting bigger and she's just she's gonna need to move out soon so I'm definitely feeling that Velodine will help me if I um, need help shaving or painting my toenails or something like that he definitely will help me with that because uh, the situation is rough <laughs> if I drop something he and Richie actually pick it up for me which is super sweet I have been doing the rebozo which is where I take my baby wrap and I will go on like a downward dog position or even like a lower um, angle of downward dog I think I talked to you guys before every once in a while sometimes I just um, do the position of downward dog and stretch or get on my birthing ball but with the rebozo it kind of helps to shift her out of my pelvis my pelvis issues don't always actually rarely have to do with me feeling like she's so low sometimes I feel like she's super high and my pelvis just hurts that's how I know it's like more of like my muscles in my alignment um, or something that she's sitting on versus how low she is 
because she's not always low and she's not that low like she is not lowered yet so um yeah some of those exercises help and um Bella Dean and Richie help me with those. I think that's pretty much all I have to catch you guys up on. If you have any questions, let me know, but I will go ahead and get into my beer belly shot and then I will show you the little baby girl Walmart haul. 35 week and four day belly. From the front, <laughs> from the side. My neighbors are probably gonna be like, what is she doing? From the side, from the front. I can see the little bit of the line what is it called? The Linea Nigra. This is just from my piercing, which is super strange when it's stressed out, stretched out. <laughs> and this is from the side here. So when she drops, I'm expecting even more of like a slouch. Right now, she's just cozied on up in there. So that's it there. And so for the haul, I'm just going to take you through each piece um, and not really hold it up. I'm just going to go through the closet and go through the drawers and kind of take you through some of the pieces kind of like I did with the baby shower stuff. <laughs> This is something I picked out that I just, oh God, after that I blacked out. But this is such a cute tutu that I ordered one in 12 months as well. So this summer and next summer she'll have this tutu. She could wear these in the winter too because I bought her all the leggings um, if it still fits her. So it says smile, I'm insta famous, and we've got this little, I think this is a Jojo Siwa bow, but I could be, no, Wonder Nation. So yeah. yeah. guys that is the video thank you so much for waiting extra time for this with motherhood and just me being extremely overwhelmed and exhausted by everything like I said I'm trying to keep consistency but it's not always the case thank you for bearing with me and watching my videos if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you are new here please subscribe to my channel you can see videos that I make I am planning on having a home birth I have one toddler and one little girl on the way so um, if you want to follow my journey then just click the subscribe button if you want to get alerted every time I upload a new video go ahead and click the notification bell thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.